All right, this is a uh, three minute trial summary. Um, this was hydrocortisone in severe community acquired pneumonia, published in NEGM 2023. Um, stay tuned until the end where I talk about how this is going to undoubtedly change my practice. Uh, my name is Mike Freilich, a general internist and clinician scientist. So when I'm uh, reading a study and I want to understand what on earth is going on, um, I break it into PICO and phobia. So first let's understand the research question using the mnemonic PICO uh, population. This is at, um, adults admitted to the ICU for severe community-acquired pneumonia. The intervention, uh, intravenous hydrocortisone, type of steroid, uh, compared to was placebo, and the outcome was death. And the timeline for that was within 28 days of randomization. And now what I'm trying to understand a bit more about the design and quality, I use the acronym PHOBIA. Was it placebo-controlled? Um, yes. How is it funded? Uh, government funding. Was the outcome clinically relevant? Absolutely. Uh, was it blinded? Yes. Intention to treat? Yes. A lot of centers or multi-center? Yes. So this is an extremely high-quality study. Let's jump into the results. They uh, screened uh, just under 6,000 patients, um, 800 randomized. Uh, loss to follow-up was rare. Uh, patient characteristics, average age of 67, and 30% were women. In terms of the primary outcome, you can see that um, the risk of, of um, death, and in this case in particular, we're talking percentage of patients um, discharged from the ICU, uh, was higher in the hydrocortisone group compared to the placebo group, and the actual risk of death by day uh, 28, 6% in hydrocortisone compared to 12% in placebo. That's almost a 6% absolute difference. That is absolutely incredible. Um, some secondary outcomes, they also looked at death by 90 days and again um, showed a, a lower risk of death for those who got hydrocortisone. Um, incidence of um, being intubated was lower uh, if you got hydrocortisone and then also the incidence of non-invasive um, uh, ventilation. In terms of the limitations, the big question will just be the external generalizability. Um, how well will this replicate to other patient populations? Um, this study was predominantly conducted in France. It was relatively small, but even as I say that, this is really impressive. Regardless, it'll be important to see if this is reproducible, because there have been other studies which did not show benefit in this patient population. In summary, early hydrocortisone treatment reduced the risk of 28 days, um, reduced the risk of mortality at 28 days, pardon me, uh, among patients with severe community-acquired pneumonia admitted to the ICU. Uh, this is incredible. And for me, when I'm locuming and I'm seeing a critically ill patient with community-acquired pneumonia, absolutely, I'm going to be starting them on IV hydrocortisone. Um, thank you to Natasha Verhoff, a medical student, for producing this video. Uh, thanks and have a great day.